Welcome. In today's world where academics forms the basis of most of the successful careers, preparing for the same and getting ready for the same becomes utmost important. Nurturing young minds and paving a path for their great success without compromising on their emotional, mental and physical well-being becomes equally important. Today, we are thrilled to present a series where we are in conversation with some remarkable individuals. Individuals who have made to the hallowed portals of IITs and yet turned out to be a complete, well-rounded personality. Hello and welcome. Once again, we will delve into the experience and knowledge along with the composed, confident and very calm guy, Harshit Kansal. Harshit, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm really glad to be here. Wow. We are also glad to have you. And uh, just straight away, one question to you. What made you to choose this career? What helped you pursue and inspiration behind it? So one of the biggest inspirations I had for choosing this career was my father. He is also an IITian. Mm -hmm. So I always wanted to uh, go to an IIT. And also uh, the FIDG admission test that I took uh, helped me realize my academic capabilities and inclinations and ultimately made me choose this career path. So Harshit, what was the part, the motivation that kept you going on to achieve your goal as an IITian? Uh, so, uh, one of the biggest motivations everyone has is like the family, mm -hmm. they support you at every turn, any problem you have and it's uh, really motivating. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, the Fiji system itself uh, makes me motivated like uh, the peer group right. and uh, all the competition I get from my peers and it's really motivating and helps me to be do better. Okay, Harshad. This world is full of competition and definitely competition brings you stress and uh, in recent scenarios and news we have come to know that lot, lots of uh, suicides happening among the students. So during this journey of yours becoming an IIT and there would have been definitely some force behind you, some guidance to you and the way you handle the stress. What was the mantra for that? Uh, sir, I'd like to say that Fiji actually really helped me uh, manage my stress. I set realistic expectations huh. and goals. And it then worked towards achieving them. So there was not that much stress. Mm -hmm. I also uh, learned more, more and less time at Fiji. So it left me more, more, much more time for extracurricular activities, mm -hmm. which are stress relieving. And uh, also I went to school two, three days a week. So mm -hmm. that was really stress relieving for me. And uh, for the point of suicides, I think that's really sad. And it's usually the academic pressure the students receive these days. Mm -hmm. They don't set realistic uh, expectations for themselves and are mm -hmm. burdened by their parents' expectations. Mm -hmm. So I think Fiji is uh, really good in that sense that it creates a tension and stress-free environment and helps you learn better. Okay. So what actually you got different from, you know, school time in Fiji? What made you move so fast? Because the realistic experience was different, what you said. So what made you move so fast in Fiji? Like uh, the teachers, the way they teach, the uh, first make the fundamentals strong. Mm -hmm. And if you have any doubts in any concept, uh, they give you very great conceptual clarity. Mm -hmm. uh, they help you learn the things which are complex in an easy manner. That helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Also, the doubt clearing sessions that are uh, uh, there, they're really helpful clearing any doubts so that uh, everything is clear. Mm -hmm. That's good. So you just said doubt clearing sessions. Can you share one of the relevant experience or incidents where you got your doubts clear like this? In a wink. Any experience so far you want to share with us? Uh, on the top of my mind, I can gather any such experience. But... Mm -hmm. Yes, you got your answers very easily and you were you know, ready to solve them out. Okay, so extracurricular activities because as a student you love doing so many other things. But as a student, I was more into other things and studies were less. But becoming an IITN takes lots of you. So were you able to live a balanced life while becoming an IITN at Fiji? Yes, I think uh, I was able to lead a, not, I would not say a balanced life, but I used to play like chess mm -hmm. and watch YouTube or like other interests like I watched anime. Mm -hmm. And I, when I went to school, I used to play football with my mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. So I used to do that. But most of the time I used to study like 8 to 10 hours a day. But mm -hmm. uh, I would say that I didn't leave out the other things completely. So it means your life was easy at Fidzi because I've seen many people preparing for IIT and they were totally into big cities. But you said you never left anything, you did everything. So you got your time, appropriate time for other yes, things. Yes, I think that's uh, appropriate to say. Fidji uh, really helped me get a lot of other time for other activities. Mm -hmm. 
Right. So fundamentals were clear, you know, uh, the concepts were clear. So did this make your life more easy? Yes, that made my life a lot easy. Like, for example, if there's someone that doesn't have their fundamentals clear, mm -hmm. they might have a lot, have to spend a lot of time in mm -hmm. doing questions and then they realize their fundamentals are not clear. So mm -hmm. it wastes a lot of time. Right. But that was not the case at Fiji. So it saved a lot of time for me. So the whole ecosystem, I must say, the atmosphere yeah. was really friendly and the ecosystem was ro yeah. so supporting that you got your things sorted in very less time, do more in less time and achieve more. This yes, is what you think. I couldn't have said it better myself. Right. Okay. So coming to the teachers, because at times uh, in school, when I was there in school, we used to have sudden tests. Yeah. You know, school or padne ke liye, teacher, art test. Hai. So you must have faced that scenario in your, you know, IIT preparation or something. So was it helpful to you as well? Yes, it actually helps. So uh, at the, if you are giving constant tests, hmm. like they help you a lot. You uh, get to identify what are your weak areas hmm. so that you can work towards them. Hmm. And also, uh, there's a particular time frame for a test. So, hmm. within that time frame, you have to solve all the questions like a wow. actual exam. Hmm. So, it actually prepares you a lot. You can uh, like alter your exam strategy hmm. based on the results of the previous exams. Hmm. All right, Harshad. So, my next question to you is that you chose an institution. So, we talked about the ecosystem, but what about the mentors, teachers and the methods they taught you? What impact it actually played on you in your achievement? Uh, so it uh, played a very crucial role in my achievement obviously so uh, it helped me in setting short term goals mm -hmm. and work towards achieving the goals one by one. Mm -hmm. So once you achieve a short term goal it gives you a boost of confidence as well. Right. For example like competitive exams like NTSC, KVPY, uh, they were like stepping stones in my preparation. Mm -hmm. Also uh, the AITS all in the test series mm -hmm. uh, was really helpful. And there used to be a workshop class we used to have. They used to really? make us solve like really tough questions and it was really mm -hmm. uh, helpful as well. So workshops means what do you mean by workshop? I'm hearing it means listening it for the first time that workshops in the institution. What does it mean? Uh, like we used to solve like uh, seven eight tough, really tough questions from a particular chapter, uh, like two, three chapters in like two, three hours. And then we used to discuss them. So it you really used to clear the concepts a lot. And help. Wow, that's great. So probably that would have prepared you in a much better way than any other ecosystem what I yes, believe, right? Yes, so related to that, what difference you see within yourself now means as Harshit Kansal who thought to become an IITian and now when he is the journey, after that journey, what difference you see in yourself? Uh, so like I, I think I'm really much better at uh, problem solving hmm. and also I've gained much more confidence during these two years of my preparation. Hmm. All right, so confidence boosted. So what's the key behind boosting up of your confidence? What is the main key thing which actually did to you? Like even if you like uh, get a small achievement, it mm. really helps to like boost your confidence and like you can do this. Okay, so you mean short term goals? Yes. Then that adding all those short term goals achievements to a bigger one. Wow, what a step, what a method, what a strategy to make students a perfect IITN at FITZ. Okay, so coming to that, balanced life we spoke about because life gets disturbed, stress is there, peer pressure is there. How you and your mentors at FITZ used to help you in maintaining a balanced life? Uh, like he used to uh, help me by like uh, the teaching that they did like Help me learn like uh, more and like in less amount of time mm -hmm. and also uh, they like I can also ask them for any like life problems. Oh, that's great. So they were very much helpful on yes, the sir. toes to help you. So this is what about the teachers, mentors and the ecosystem of Fiji. Now I'm going to talk about the study material because everyone is there in, at an institute to study but the study material also plays a vital role. So what about the study material being provided? Yes, I think the study material provided by Fiji is like really good. Mm -hmm. Uh, all the like it covers problems from like J mains advanced like all the concepts and like all the difficulty level various types of questions that can be asked mm -hmm. also we are giving like archives which uh, like you must do during your preparation they're like the one of the most important things mm -hmm. also at the end like we are giving a GMP like grandmaster packages and like review booklets they're also really helpful to review the concepts mm -hmm. and like get a better understanding and build your grasp of the more different types of questions right okay so if I talk about the study material and if I talk about the study methods, were they, you know, collaboratively easy and um, good to go with? Yes, yes, I can say that. Like in the study material also, like at the f start, there used to be some easy questions and then gradually progressed towards the tough questions. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice transition. 
Okay, so this is a personal question out of the box. I'm going to ask you when you were not able to solve a problem, were the teachers harsh on you, or they used to teach you easily that this is the way, the smart work way? It's not the hard work time; it's the smart work time. So, were those methods told to you? Yes, yes, uh, absolutely. The teachers were really helpful, and they uh, used to be really supportive. Even if you da- can't do a question, they can tell you the smart way to do it, as you said, mm-hmm. and it's uh, really nice. The journey. Yes. Now I'm going to talk to Harshit about his journey, that the preparations he went through, and what he feels was the best part of it, and where he is today. Is it really helping him in his journey as an IITian, Harshit? Uh, yes, I would like to say so. So, like Fiji, it teaches you life skills. For example, uh, it helps you learn. It teaches you how to learn. Mm. So in IIT, uh, like it helps me manage my academics really easily. Mm. So I can focus on other things. It's like uh, really easy to ma- manage academics in IIT as it is not as tough as it used to be during the J times. Mm. So Fiji has taught me that, and also it teaches me how to think. Like uh, my favorite subject was maths. Oh. So he's <laughs> now I can like. Think mathematically, like in every scenario, which is really helpful. Mm-hmm. So you can calculate, analyze, realize, and implement everything in your life. So you have life skills with you, which will be making your life easy for sure. It is. Yes. Uh, we can it see it on your face as well. Yes. Please. Managing stress and like uh, this problem solving. These are all life skills which will be used throughout the life, not only during the J preparation. Wow. So you said you talked about stress. Have you seen people around those who are in stress or probably kind of any kind of pressure while preparing? Yes, there are a lot of people who take a unnecessary stress, mm-hmm. which is during due to their parents' expectations mm-hmm. and also non-realistic expectations they set for themselves right. and want to achieve them. And if they are not able to achieve them, it leads to a lot of stress. So how lucky you feel yourself in that? Case? Yes, I'm really lucky to be enrolled in Fiji and help me set realistic expectations and not be stressed at all. And all right, Harshit. My last question to you, and it's going to be a big one. The piece of advice. What piece of advice will you give to you know future aspirants, the competitive exam aspirants, those who will be coming and giving those exams? So please. So I would like to say, regardless of the career stream, the aspirants must be able to realize their academic capabilities, inclinations, uh, and uh, basis of uh, scientific testing, like the Fiji admission test provides. Then they must be able to set like short-term goals, long-term goals, and realistic expectations from themselves so that they can uh, uh, fulfill them. Also, they must be able to choose the right academic institution like Fiji. For example, uh, in the last year in Kota, there have been 30 plus suicides in a particular academic institution. So they should avoid such institutions and choose an institution which flourishes their personalities and helps them grow more. Mm -hmm. So overall development of a student as a person as well, right. So what message you like to give for the students, those will be joining Fidzi? I would like to say that you should uh, really join Fidzi because it is a platform which helps you in every way. Like it uh, not only helps you in your preparation, but also teaches you life skills like managing stress, problem solving, etc. And coming to the preparation, it has really very many tools which can help you in your preparation like ARTS test series. It's really good course material. And also the doubt clearing se- se- sessions, the supportive faculty. And don't forget the ecosystem as well. Yes, yes that supports a lot. But thank you, Harshad. Wish you a great career ahead. God bless you.